hello and welcome to today's lesson in today's lesson i would like to walk you through how we can successfully download and install an alipay account the purpose of this tutorial also seeks to walk you through how to create a step-by-step -step alipay account if you are running on android you navigate to your play store then in the search bar of um the play store you type alipay you type alipay so to search for it in my case for instance i have already downloaded the alipay on my smartphone so i click on open from the next interface you see an inscription with a blue background which means allow and the one on my left hand side means to um, disallow so i click on the one with the blue background from the next interface i click allow another interface comes where i need to allow from this interface where you see the plus eight six i'm creating the account from ghana so i need to tap the plus plus eight six to change the country code to the ghana country code in your case if for instance you are in nigeria you are in turkey or you are in vietnam or in the united states you change the country code to your choice of country code i tap on it among the list of countries i look for ghana so this ghana so i type the phone number that i would like to use to create the account so i type it carefully what i would like to advise you is if you are in ghana you exempt the first digit that is the zero because of the country code you've added with all due respect i will entreat you to confirm and compare the number you've typed so that you don't type any wrong number in there when you are done confirming you click on next a code will be sent to the number you have input into the system so the code has been sent this code will vary from yours so you type the same code into the three or the boxes from the next interface we need to agree to the privacy protections of alipay so i click on agree I wait for the next interface. From this interface, we are being asked, would you like to use the international version of Alipay? We are not in China, so it means we are we would wish to use the international version of alipay so i tap on yes i click on next from the next interface i allow well this is how we create a successful alipay account now the next thing we would have to look at is how to set up uh, or configure the Alipay so that we can have a, an ID of um, 1688 ID or Taobao ID. So without much ado, when you look at the very button or the very down part of the interface, you see message, you see the Alipay um, logo. On my left hand side and you see message then you see me we then click on me so that we set up the, um, the the account dashboard for ourselves from the very top where you see nickname and set so you click on the 
settings up there or better still let's set up for a name we would like to use so i click with the section where you see the use nickname and state so the arrow pointing by it i click on it from this interface you see profile home page so i click at that part from the next interface you see set nickname so we want to set a username or any name of your choice for your alipay account so i tap on the pencil by the set nickname so i click here and i type the name i would like to use when you are done typing the name you click on the save at the very right top hand corner so it means the name has successfully been saved if you want to set up a profile picture for your alipay account you click at the camera button so i tap here either to take a new picture or to select from the phone so i choose so i like this so you can crop it anyhow you like when you are done cropping it then you click on the use at the very top right hand corner so we are done setting a profile picture for our alipay account so i go back I go back again I go back again now the next thing I would like us to look into is how to set up or set up our Alipay account so that we can have a username for 1688 and a password for it the same ID can also be used to log into Taobao and so on and so forth so in order to do that whilst you are in me just as you can see you see the settings the settings are the very top right hand corner i click on it it takes me to this interface where you see account and security so we navigate to account and security i wait for it to load in this interface you will see where we have Taobao member name. So this is my Taobao username. This username can also be used in 1688. So let's see how best we can set a password for this Taobao account and 1688 account. So from this interface, you click on Alipay so alipay password then you see login password the two let me throw more light on the two the alipay password is a password that when you are going to pay a supplier from your alipay account you enter that password before you can pay a supplier the login password is a password that you set for your alipay account the same password can be used for tmall taobao and 1688 account so our focus is to have an 1688 ID or username and a password. So we already know the 1688 ID, which is the one starting with the TB. Or you see the name Taobao member name. So to set a password for the 1688 account and Taobao account, I click on login password. I wait for the next interface a code will be sent to your account so that you enter so I drag down to look at the code so I move to the top so I enter the same code from this interface. I wait for the next interface. In this interface, 
you need to set up a password the password should be above eight characters so i click here and i type the password i would like to use with all due respect i'll plead with you to type a password that you will remember you type a password that you will remember so i carefully type the password then i click on save to save the password a pop-up will come they remember that this is the only password you will use to log into your Taobao account so this is what you see in the bracket starting with the tb is the Taobao username and the password is the one that you have typed into the alipay so i click on confirm so i wait for the next interface so the system has accepted the password and all that so let me throw more light on this with all due respect where you see the Taobao member name that username you can use it to log into your 1688 account or when you visit 1688.com you can use this username and the password you've set the login password you've set as that becomes your uh, 1688 account uh, password this same Taobao member name you can use it to go to or log into the Taobao website with the same um, username so you can go back so this is how we create a successful Alipay account and as well have 1688 login password. If you found value in this video, I'll plead with you to give your comments, you give your questions if there is any. In my next or subsequent um, lessons, I'll be talking about how you can verify your Alipay account. See you in the next tutorial.